Hey guys, welcome to the McLaurin series. Um, this is a video example on showing uh, how to find the McLaurin series of f of x e to the 5x, courtesy of Patrick JMT. So, um, what we're going to do, remember, a McLaurin series, if you watch the other videos, it's just really a Taylor series that's centered at zero. Okay, so I'm expecting you to know a little bit about how to set that up, and, and, and I go through the example, I, I use the general definition, but this is just an ex extra example, so I'm not going to go through the formal definition in this video. Uh, so, uh, to find the McLaurin series, what we're going to do is really kind of divide our board here into two different things, and what you want to do here is on the left half, I'm going to be finding the first n derivatives, and maybe, I usually go out to four or five, depending on the function, so you can see here f of x, um, and then f prime of x, f double prime, triple prime to the fourth, and then kind of in general here what I noticed, the pattern. So uh, a couple things you want to be careful of. Sometimes we simplify out. I didn't notice how I have 5 squared here, 5 cubed, 5 to the fourth. I didn't simplify those out. It helps us see patterns later on when we're rewriting the rule. In the right column here, you're going to see f of 0, f prime, f double prime, f triple prime, f uh, to the fourth when we're evaluating it at zero, when the center is zero, that, that A value or C value depending on the text. So uh, on the right side we're evaluating F uh, or um, zero for each of our derivatives here. And you notice that when we plug in zero into each we're getting one, five, five squared, five cubed, five to the fourth. So you know the f of x, the derivative of e to the five x is five e to the five x. I take the derivative here and I get five squared e to the five x. Um, and then the derivative of the second derivative becomes 5 cubed e to the 5x and so on. So really I just ignore the constant and I keep taking the, into, uh, the derivative excuse me, of e to the 5x and that's how I'm getting these. Then I plug in 0 and we know that anything to the 0 power is always 1 so all of these are going to become 1 so the coefficients here that's being multiplied are what you see here. Okay. All right, so now that I have all those values, I'm going to start to write the McLaurin series. So e to the 5x can be written as, here's f of 0, right, which was 1. Then f prime of 0 was 5 times x to, and this should be x minus a to the whatever power, but the minus a, the a is 0, so I don't have that. So we have 5 to the first uh, times x over 1 factorial plus 5 squared x squared over 2 factorial plus 5 cubed x cubed over 3 factorial, and that pattern keeps on going. So what I try to do from here is write the, the pattern. I notice that there's 5, 5, 5, 5, so first, um, zero term, first term, second term, third, fourth, fifth term. So the sum from 0 to infinity is going to be 5 to the n times x to the n over n factorial. So look, zero term, first term, second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. So that's the sum that represents e to the 5x. So if you guys have any questions or comments on how to do the McLaurin series uh, for e to the 5x, you can go ahead and type them below. We'll see you next time.